boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Nerd Generation Egghead News. Happy 4th of July, or happy after 4th of July. It's me, Spivey4994, joining Nerd Generation with the maestro on the mic, Pablo. Say it twice, Solano P. How we doing? I'm doing all right, man. Ladies and gentlemen, do the right thing, do the best thing. Click on that subscribe button, ring that bell. Remember that? You can ring. Anyway, I won't go there. That's the way we like it. Remember? That's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. Listen, it don't cost you nothing. Just a little bit of energy just to click on that like button. It really helps us out. We're not asking for no favors, no money. Just hit that like button. If you're listening to this show, hit the like button. It helps us out tremendously. That's right. You heard it right there. Hit that like button. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. You like it. You know you like it because you guys are listening. <laughs> you guys are calling me, texting me. Yo, trade that was dope. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the hottest news out right now, and it's not the firecrackers that you popped last weekend. No, the hottest news is a bit, of, a little bit more of that kid across the street. You know that wild house across the street that they partying every night. Windows are getting blowed out. They got cars in the driveway honking all type of night. The alarm system going off. Warner Brothers, DCU, HBO Max. What a mess. What the hell is going on here? Hey! Listen, I'm sitting over here at Marvel Studios' house. I can't even, I can't, I can't do it no more. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ray, Cyborg Fisher. And you know who he is, Ray Fisher. He's Ray Cyborg Fisher. He's not the he's not the cyborg on that uh, DC Universe show. That's the other gentleman. Completely different. And I guess, ladies and gentlemen, those two cyborgs exist in two different universes. A couple of more multiverses are being created. But anyway, Ray Fisher hit the mic. Got on the public view. He said he didn't like what Josh Whedon did to him and some of the other cast men- members on the set of the finishing of Justice League. We have opinions. Everybody have opinions. But the one thing that I keep hearing everybody say is, and I know this is going to reflect on some other things in our social consciousness, but yeah, I have to say it. And once again, I apologize to anyone who's offended. It's not meant that way. But I guess we got to say it here. Mr. Fisher, why did you wait so long? P, anything to say? Yeah, I mean, that was the the question on everybody's mind, I think. Uh, why did you wait till now to say what you said, right? Being that you had said previously, and I understand that you're promoting a film. You don't want to give anybody any negative vibes promoting the film. I think PR messed up on that one. They did not expect that question. They, they they didn't know how to answer that question. Right now, he's retracting everything that he said previously, which was, to me, a positive. Uh, if you listen to his uh, that 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 panel, and he answers the question, you feel as if there was no beef, right? Okay, it it started out. He says something at San Diego Comic-Con when they were finishing the project. Let's get it straight. Remember, this is the point where Zack Snyder's now off the projects. This is after BVS. This is after Justice League was already six months into filming. And then, obviously, Zack had the personal uh, problem. And then they had to regroup. They hired Josh Whedon. They bought Josh and Josh was supposed to wrap it up, put it on the can, ship it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ray Fisher... After years, and we could say it's been years, it's been years of speculation, uh, loss of revenue, disappointing profits, and of course, former WB, DC Direct management no longer there. They took the money and run, whatever you want to call it. We, we're not here to be uh, civil or vocal. Uh, Ray Fisher's now come out. Josh Whedon was bad to us. Let me tell you what I've seen here. Zach is now back. Zach is gonna oh, yeah. Zach is gonna be able to get to show the world, the public, his uh rendition of his Justice League movie that he wanted to do. Um is it a case of the kids didn't like the substitute teacher? Well, P you tell me if I'm wrong. The substitute came in, which is Josh, yeah. mm-hmm. and now the kids I don't like him. 
Why? Yeah. Why? Because he let's let ladies and gentlemen, let's do it. Because he worked for Marvel Studios. Because he created the Avengers movie. Because no matter what, he'll be Josh Whedon, the Avengers. That's forever. Yeah. You can't take that away. He gave us, H-O-F, he gave you us can't break Avengers. it. I mean, that, that, he gave us you, you, hey, yo, yo, Pete, live with it. Because it ain't going to change. Yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing you can do to change that. Yeah. People have some sort of this thing now for Josh Whedon, you know, being the guy to mess it all up. Now, is it, is it course, Josh Whedon, Pete, or is it the people over there got to think? Let's put it out there. You got to think for Marvel Studios and anybody that comes on. That's why we said it right here. <laughs> That's all that is, Ray. That's all that is. There was nothing anyone could do to save this film. He just took the job, got his money, and booked. But you see, ladies and gentlemen, that, that's, this is the whole point I want to get into. Who hired him? That's right. Jeff Johns hired him. Why? Jeff Johns sees what Marvel does. Let me tell you, I'm saying it right now. Ladies and gentlemen, get off the stick as long as Marvel Studios is around all of the people who have an issue with anything coming from whatever director, whatever profile, whatever personal agenda, your problem isn't them. Your problem is Marvel Studios, and that's the bottom line. You cannot compete, cannot compare, and you cannot distract from Marvel <laughs> Studios. Now, the problem with that is, and what I'm saying, because I don't want to sound like a guy on the pulpit, Marvel Studios is what Marvel Studios is. What you should do is go forward and try to make the best product that you can. Ray Fish's comments about Josh. Ray Fish's comments about Jeff hiring Josh. And ladies and gentlemen, why do you think John's hired Josh? He made the Avengers. But then when Josh came in, what's some of the rumors? What's some of the things you're hearing, P? Josh made some comments about the way Zach was building his movie. Now, he has an opinion like everybody else. But if you diehard Snyder fans don't like what... Don't blame Josh. Then Zach should have made BVS successful. Zach should have made, while in production, Justice League successful. Don't blame Josh. Don't blame Marvel Studios. I mean, don't do that. That's not right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're gonna there's gonna be people that blame him for the decision making in that film. For but the hey, stuff once that again, made why do you think? Film. Why do you think Jeff I Josh hired that, Josh but... Whedon? I wouldn't have hired Josh Whedon only because Josh, your style and what you guys do over at Mobile Studios, including the Russos, the Russos couldn't have fixed or adapted Zack Snyder's style. Yeah, they can't. It, so, he was in an unwinnable situation. Yeah, everybody's in an unwinnable situation because none of us are Zach. None of us are Zach. And you and you guys that love Zach style from Watchmen to 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 uh, uh what was the other 300? one? Three hundred. No, Watchmen at three hundred. Oh, I like three hundred. Watchmen at three hundred. To uh, Guardians, the the movie with the owls, and uh, the other one with Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch. That's Zach style. Nobody else can come in and do that. They can't. You can't. Yeah. And so when another yeah. director comes in, he goes, oh, the guy goes, what's this? What's that? What's that? Like, Josh couldn't go in and do Peter Jackson stuff. Peter Jackson can't go in. Peter Jackson cannot go in and do the Russos. He can't. So, obviously, yeah. there's going to be different flavor. But for Ray to make it seem as if, and maybe I'm wrong, Ray, you tried to make it seem like there's something wrong with Josh. Josh not only gave us the Avengers, Josh gave us the very first Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the vampire. and I love that movie. So yeah. wait a minute. Either Josh is the worst thing in the world, undercover, or we got a whole substitute teacher thing going on over here. Or maybe there's a bigger agenda. Because right now, you guys are controlling the headlines. You don't even hear anything. Well, we did hear a little thing about Black Widow um, over the last couple of days. But you guys are oh, controlling yeah. the narrative, but it's a negative narrative. It's a negative narrative, but we'll go on. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you saw it. We shared a little video from Ray Fisher. Uh, you know what? I like Ray. 
I don't know where Ray's going. We always love to forecast around here. Where's Ray going? What is he? He's politicking, but where's he going? What, what, what are we doing, Ray? What you want to talk about, Ray? Huh? What you want to talk about? All I've heard on 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 Josh Whedon's Whedon side is that he didn't want to say booyah. Now everybody who's listening to this show and knows comic books and knows these characters, that's a signature. Signature. Cartoon Network. Teen Titans Go. Cyborg says booyah. I would ask Ray Fisher. <laughs> yep. Was there a problem with you saying booyah? P, it's not was yes there a problem. No. The pro the question should be, what's your problem? That's like Captain America <laughs> not saying Avengers Assemble. Are you kidding exactly. me? Exactly. Are you kidding? Now, this is also, if this is the case, this is also coming from a dude, Ray Fisher, who was in another panel. The dude just, just when he's in a panel, just, just keep your ears open. He said, they asked him, who would you want to fight? And he said, Brainiac. And of course, we know Brainiac does not belong to Cyborg or, or much less the Teen Titans or the New Titans. Uh, listen, yeah. I'm a Titans. Yeah. I, I, I was around in the 80s. I, I grew up with that book, Marl Wolf and George Perez. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I just feel that Ray Fisher, I don't know what he's positioning himself to. And that video, I sent the video out to uh, all the heads out there so everybody can take a look at it. Because we always like to keep in communication and stay on the same page. What, like, it, it, to me, my opinion, I think he's been instructed to keep the fire going. Keep the fire really? burning. I mean. Do you think, yo? Of course, this is business, ladies and gentlemen. This is show business. And right now, we got the headlines. And right now, HBO Max wants to jump off the I page. Guess. I mean, everything's fitting in. You want to do this, and that one wants to do this, and if I do this, I get that. that. Who's been the best person of all of this? Henry Cavill, professional to the end. Yes, absolutely. He Absolutely. ain't getting caught up in this. Why? I got the Witcher. Yeah. I got a fallback. And here we got people spitting at him. Yeah. Grace Randolph is spitting at him. They're making it seem like, you know, this whole thing with Zach, is, it really has turned into a cult thing. If you're yeah. not on Zach's side, they kind of, like, rain on you and... Yeah, and, and little, it's little subtleties. They say little things. Uh, oh well, this long as Henry's not there. Listen, Henry's like, first of all, your interpretation of Superman or this arc that this emotional arc that you were putting Superman through has really pushed off and really brushed uh, the majority of people the wrong way. It's like, do I side with the majority or do I side with this little minority that this guy can't do nothing wrong or whatever he does? I'm part of it. It's not like we're talking I mean, about Basquat, okay? Where well, art is art. We yeah, all yeah. love art. But no, this is just Zach's I, interpretation. I, 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 yeah, I, I, yes, I understand that. But I'd say is is not all. It's not about the majority. The majority happens to be the people who disagree. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, With yes. Zach's... The majority did not accept Zach's vision right. from DB. From excuse me, let's, let's let's be real, Pete. It really started a little bit with Man of Steel. While mm -hmm. some other people think Man of Steel was the greatest movie in the world, eh, it's all, it's a good crazy. It's, it's all right, but it ain't no, it ain't, it ain't Empire nah, Strikes Back. Nah, but um, Christopher Reeve. Yeah, but it ain't. But then BVS took it in a complete weird. Who who? And ladies and gentlemen, I saw Zach. Zach pulled Batman from the minimum four different storylines. But with Ray Fisher, listen, I liked him as Cyborg. I think he did a fantastic job. Yeah, I like him as Cyborg. He did a he he did a fantastic job as Cyborg. I'm not knocking him for his portrayal uh, of of Cyborg. This all comes down to being unprepared to answer a question like that. He's at Comic Con. He had to sit next to Momoa, and it seemed like Momoa was giving the gas face. You all know how we felt about this. We're all in Zach's camp. I think the question. What was the question? What was the exact question? Do you know? It was in deference to both having Zach and then switching over to Josh 
And he did the right thing, and he told the line, and the way that uh, Momo no, was sitting. I think he overextended Momo, himself. Uh, he, he overextended well, these himself. Things, those, those things are hard to dance through. Remember when Henry Cavill was sitting next to Affleck? That was crazy. Yo, you talking about playing the company line? <laughs> Henry was pitching, boy, and I felt sorry for him. Can you yeah. imagine Chris yeah, Evans do. sitting next it's, to Robert Downey Jr. trying to sell crazy. in the Marvel it's Studios crazy. movie? That It's crazy. Yeah. Seeing Ben right there sitting down, like, show that not you got to put there. that in the team. Show him yeah, yeah, and Ben. I, will, I mean, that I was just <laughs> he like, wasn't even there. You got. I feel for the guy. You could have asked him <laughs> anything. But then, now, like, but, um, but then now, Grace, Grace Randolph <laughs> and them are dumping on Henry. He was the most yeah. loyal. I mean, you know what? You know what? Okay, Henry. It's Henry's fault. Henry's the no good egg for not getting us Zach's vision. Oh, okay, okay. It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a tough time because we were already used to one style, and then someone else comes in because of the, whatever situation is going on in the background, you know. But we have to finish this movie, and I'm just happy that we finished this movie. Um, it was difficult at first, and but we got through it, and um, I'm I'm just happy to be here. Blase blase, and we go on from there. Boom. Does does that answer satisfy you? Obviously, it may not give you any positive vibes, but you'll be like, hmm, something was going on. Ray Fisher overextended himself with the positivity because this is a complete 180. Are oh, you trying to say People Ray Fisher? People are going to notice that. You put the sell on too hard. You sold it too hard, brother. And yeah, now you yeah, turn around. Yeah. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. You can't. You can't yeah. do that. Yeah, that's why people are like, "Yo, what the hell is going, <laughs> on? going on?" And, and people trying to tell me, "Oh, he had a non-disclosure agreement." He had a non-disclosure agreement, and he's talking all this mess, and he's still he under a, it. If you had a P, you want to get your truth off, get your truth off. But also know there will be consequences. Don't um don't play victim. What has he been what has he been in after Justice League? And that's the, that's the topic that I have brought up, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. What has Ray Fisher done since Justice League? Is he being offered any roles? He should have been in five Tyler Perry movies already. Honestly. He should have been with Medea. Cyborg versus Medea. I went into IMDb to just see what has he done. He's not even getting voiceovers. Like, wow. Wow. Why? Who's your agent? Word. <laughs> and you know why? I was Cyborg in Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can take that whatever grain of salt, whatever that means. You can take that, whatever that means, or however it goes. You know what? Somebody can say, well, even Shuri was in a movie after Black Panther. And and with them, it's different. It's not like uh, people aren't offered. They know you go into production within a year. You really can't take a lot. Of, and, of course, everybody else has been working. But Ray Fisher hasn't been in he and I don't want to get turn turn this into a cultural thing, but he's not for some reason. How come he's not in the loop for certain roles? Yeah, yeah. We can't have Chadwick Boseman do every black and Michael civil and Michael rights B. Leader. Come on, man. And, 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 yeah, you you just you can't. can't. There's other people. Like we can go back ten years ago. It can't be just Terrence Howard and Epps. No, nah, it can't be. But yeah. unfortunately for Hollywood, and that's that's another story for another time. But unfortunately for Hollywood, there's about three or four brothers that get the majority of the roles, <laughs> which is terrible. I mean, I see the Allstate guy more than I see a couple other cats. Denzel's son is going to be his. He's going to be. Oh yeah, he's the next. He's the, the next, next one. He's years. on. He's on. He's on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Once you do once you do a Chris Nolan film, yeah, you get yeah. money. There you go. Denzel's son's about to get on, but we're gonna go back to Ray Fisher. And it's not like Ray Fisher, ladies and gentlemen, Ray Fisher is classically trained. He should be on one of these Netflix series at least. Yeah. Now but we're not saying the lack of diversity or the lack of that has nothing to do with why Ray Fisher isn't getting any work. I don't know. Uh I can say the same thing about my boy Mustafa. Mustafa's great. Mustafa's going to get something soon. And, of course, we all know Yaya is doing it. Yaya's Candyman. Yaya's Black Manta. Yeah. 
Ray, do you, Ray, you see what's happening? Yaya's Candyman, Yaya's Black Manta. Ray, what's going on, man? I hope, I hope. What's going on, bro? I hope it. I hope Aquaman doesn't continue just for the purposes that they can get this brother in the MCU. Black Manta is in quote the Legion of Doom. You know, <laughs> you know. Listen, Black Manta is Black Manta. I'm just glad the the fact that yo, come on, yo, come on, Pete. Black Manta actually has a face. We, li ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we living in. Y'all don't even understand. We living in times of things we would never see. Listen, we still waiting for Static Shock, Icon. Mm -hmm. All the milestone, but right now, guess what? He was never disrespected. Black Manta was never taken as a joke. He was never put yeah. down. He was never a parody. Yeah. Black Manta yeah. was a real quote Serious. villain. And let's talk about Booyah. That is a tell. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. You know what? You, you, Pete, that's a tell. That means Ray, and I, hopefully I'm wrong. Do you know who this character is? Do you know who the character is that you're playing? When you say you want to fight Brainiac, you don't. You don't. You don't Trey. Fight Brainiac. Anybody and that says any anybody that says that, you'll be like, "What are you? At, what are you talking about?" Maybe he was watching Injustice. Maybe he was watching Injustice. Maybe he think the the Injustice <laughs> universe is the regular DC. No, 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 no. It has to be that. No, it has, it to, has be to be that. It has to be that. You can rest assured, and I said this about two days ago. HBO Max. If HBO Max was not in the need for content, this conversation about Zack Snyder's Justice League would not be happening. It wouldn't be happening. They lost money, whether mm -hmm. you had liked Justice League or not. Warner mm -hmm. Brothers lost money. Yeah. And I just feel, I mean, it, it, he's got, the nicest word they call it following, some people call it cult. Uh, I like to say the word click. Zack's got a click, and his click is all over YouTube. These guys, Except for certain people who who push back and say, "Listen, I'm gonna call it what it is. It wasn't good." And and when I say it wasn't good, it doesn't just a P. Tell me the truth. It doesn't just start with B with Justice League. It starts with B V S. Let's tell the yeah, tell yeah, the yeah, truth yeah, for no, shame the got, devil. Yeah, no, no. Tell the truth yeah, for yeah, shame the devil. It started true. with B V S. B V S set the standard. We were getting B V S part two. That's all it was. You're going to get, listen, you're still going to get BVS Part 2. Once he's done whatever he's doing with HBO, it'll come out, and guess what? It'll still be the same. This is the same argument we had before. David Ayers is going to put a little 15-minute intro of the Joker robbing the bank. That will not change that mm. Suicide Squad movie. At mm. the end, the Enchantress will still be doing that hoo -ba -loop -ba -loop -ba -loop -ba -loop. The uh, Harley will still walk up to her and throw the gun. What is that Joker intro going to change nothing i and i'm sure you have as well have seen many horrible movies we've seen a lot of bad movies in those bad movies there's always a memorable scene or something that was good about the movie the only thing good about bbs in my opinion is the scene in the warehouse. That is it. Yeah, the Batman fighting scene. So, Trey, you guys really didn't care about... Uh, when uh, Clark Kent was doing a little journalistic stuff, trying to find out who the Batman was, the party scene when he put the uh, adapter on, maybe... I mean, if you watch Zack's retelling of the plot, he was pulling stuff out of the... He even had the crisis on Infinite Earths where the scene where uh, Flash comes back and says Lois is the key. He has it in the diagram that Flash was on the cosmic treadmill. Dude, wh what? This only goes towards Zack's vision. Once it is complete, it is over. Goodbye. We're going to say this again. Zack was not universe building. And maybe that's the public's fault. Maybe we thought he was. Guess what? He was not trying to build a cinematic universe. He was not. And now, ladies and gentlemen, as we said, what always happened, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, reported by certain people that are on YouTube and reported in blogs. JJ and crew, and maybe James Gunn's involved in it or whoever. But apparently, 
Patty Jenkins came out a day ago or so, a day ago or so, Wonder Woman 1984 is being used as some type of tempted reboot. Ladies and gentlemen, they are trying to get away from that five picture arc. And P, the main thing I read in the article, they are trying to save continuity. This is all the things that the guy across the street, Kevin, doesn't deal with at all. Even though Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was on ABC and there was a split, there was a split in the house, in the house of the mouse. Yeah. It still wasn't such a split where I now got to, I now, P, I now got to waste time to try to put my universe continuity back together. We even have mm-hmm. Captain America going down the time stream and creating a new reality. But guess what? It still doesn't interfere. We still can think linear in our Marvel mm-hmm. Studios universe. P, what, what, what's, why and is this so hard? I, I- I just want to apologize, everyone. I know we tend to drift. I know the subject is Ray Fisher. But these are the things that we have to put in front of you so that you can understand the frustration. We have the factions, people that love, which is the minority, and the majority of people. The The thing is, the minority are more vocal. The majority is like... All right, we're tired of arguing this point. We don't even want to talk about uh, and this And I no think more. you hit it on the spot. The majority... Uh, 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 okay. It's like, okay. Uh, I can't. What? I can't. So, is... It, it, I, the only thing with it. the minority, Pete, they're trying to make us think that you didn't see what you saw. Don't believe your lying eyes. What? <laughs> I saw the movie. No, but you don't get it. You don't understand. Yeah, you know why? Because no. while you're watching the movie, you don't have somebody sitting next to you explaining the aesthetic of it. Mm. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're not going to ramble on. But be- listen, I said it. Pablo said it. All the people that's been on the show said it. This is just beginning. This 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 thing ain't going nowhere. We're going to be talking about this. More stuff is going to come out. We think that Ray Fish is backtracking. Or maybe he just be he should just I I don't know I'm not gonna tell a man what to do but like I said before this story is just continuing this has been a great little um, hot topic DCU future series the DCU hey they're taking the headlines they're front page right now yeah but it's more gossip than actual excitement and they're holding on information. But I just wonder what JJ's thinking. He's probably like, oh, boy. Well, JJ's yeah. probably like, this is not my problem. And here's another thing. Ray, don't you want to get in good graces with JJ? Don't you want to be part of that Justice League dark or some of the other things that might come out the fold? Do you think it's yeah. wise of you to say I'm only loyal to Zach? Really? He hasn't done anything since Justice League, ladies and gentlemen. I just yeah, That's the one. You're right. I don't get what he's doing. I I mean, I'm not telling you to toe the company line, but the company is going forward. Don't you want to be the cyborg of the DC continuity? Why are you making it seem like you only want to be with... I mean, if another director comes in, Ray, you're not going to like him because he's not Zach? And that's the picture that you're painting. That's the picture that you're painting. Saying Josh is evil. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Hey, Rob. Hey, Robert Robert Downey Jr. Hey, Scarlett. Was Josh evil to you all? No. What's Ray talking about? I don't know. Well, Age of (laughs) Ultron. Was Josh evil to you all? No. What happened? I don't know. What happened over there? Would you think Josh went over there and just start kicking and spitting and this is crap and this is, you know, and Ray could say he's not trying to paint that picture, but it seems like that's the picture you're painting, that the big shot from Marvel Studios came over and he didn't like nothing. And listen, again, once again, I want people to understand this. We're not knocking, we're kind of knocking Ray Fisher for doing this 180, this flip flopper thing. But once again, you know, you just want to say that Ray Fisher was a fantastic cyborg. I just I don't understand this whole background stuff. This shouldn't be important. When we talk about Marvel, we're talking about the stories that we're about to get. 
How are they going to do it? Who's and the way they plan? built their universe, P, the way they're standing, they're good. They are good. The only thing that stopped Disney was this COVID situation. Other than that, they would have still been Godzilla in their way yeah. into the future. And now that we got the Fantastic Four, the X Men, and all the characters that go along with it, how are you going to stop them? Come on. You can't. You can't stop them. But do you hear anyone coming out of face? They were terrible to me. They were. The, I mean, yeah, Anthony Mackie said uh, he wants the whole thing about the Panther shouldn't be the only move. Yeah, but but he's not saying the Russos were yeah, terrible. No, no, no. He was. I mean, he, he's just making an honest comment. And I and not to go too far off the deep end, but um, I had no problem with what Anthony Mackie said. He's just making. And I said this before, Trey. I said this before. Even when they first announced that it's going to be an all black cast, all black, I was like, oh, right, cool. But does it have to be an all black cast? Yeah, but you know what the bad thing about it is? Shang-Chi is the same way. All Asian. <laughs> everything. The but production it manager. Yeah, I'm not I listening. Get it, I'm but not it, yeah. saying it, it. I'm not saying it's a. Um, what's the word we use? It's a. Um, pandering situation but let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen Ryan Coogler's team and staff they got a franchise going the Shang Chi team and staff they got a franchise going so at least now I know I have a black filmmaking crew and when I say crew I'm talking about Peter Jackson crew with even the guy that makes the claws he's whatever now would they have gotten this work before maybe in a certain amount, probably not. But now, guess what? Both groups are getting it. And it may seem like pandering. It may seem like pandering. But, hey, listen, one do P, one, um, Harley Quinn, one of brothers, Kathy, uh, Kathy, uh, Kathy yeah. Yee's, uh, crew who made Harley Quinn was all woman cast. Ain't nobody saying nothing about that, right? Or how, oh, yeah, hey. Listen, Patty Jenkins is the, is the best. I, Patty, and you know what? It's like something you told me. We cheated, ladies and gentlemen. Pablo told me something a couple of days ago. You see how Patty Jenkins avoided all of this mess. She's not hindering JJ and the future, but then she's also not stepping on or spitting on the past. She is neutral. She is ready to go whichever way you want to go. My character, my crew, my universe, where are we going? And then she's going to go off with it. Beautiful thing. Ladies and gentlemen, Ray Fisher, bottom line to me, lack of experience in Hollywood. Yeah. Lack of experience. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. stuff about Joshua, lack of experience, I think Joshua, Yeah. It's lack of experience on his behalf, on the people that, that he's surrounded by. Um, WB as well. It, it falls. This all. Listen, it all starts at the top, man. When you let this sort of thing happen, who's putting out money for these these movies? Who's paying for this? Yep. Yep. I, I would like to. I would love to get a meeting at Warner Brothers. Uh, listen, I'm about to. But no, JJ's there. It's already too late. JJ's there. I would have just took. I'd a sit down with and JJ and have this. a conversation. JJ, like, oh, JJ this is what we got to do, baby. Here's what you got to do. Here's what you gotta do. And you can put an end to all this nonsense. But also understand that there are there are a bunch of clicks. And you can't tell me there's no click. There is a click. There is a click. There is a click. And you got great characters. I feel sorry for Shazam. I feel sorry for uh, Zach. His character's been pushed to the side. Well, what about me? What's my future going to be? Is it all about right now? Zach is all about Zach. It's all about Zach. But now Rock is going to come in and it'll be Rock versus the whole DC universe. <laughs> the first thing we would do is... We got to scrap that. We can't have this guy. And I understand. You yo, know, man. I, this, yo, unfortunately, yo, unfortunately, like you say, unfortunately, you don't see a win anytime soon. Uh, 
like it's like the Knicks. You just don't see it anytime soon. You don't see that. You don't see the promised land, and you don't see it anywhere right now. Unless JJ opens up the vote and let us know what he's doing. Ladies and gentlemen, Nerd Generation, AK News, DCU Future Series. This has taken the headlines. Everybody stay safe. Stay sound. We'll see you back real soon. This is not even a question. We'll be back real soon because guess what? It don't look like this stuff is stopping. I had a good time. Hope you had a good time. We we see you guys are loving the videos. It's a great thing. Pete, any last words? Uh, no, nah, man. Just stay safe out there. Um... Share this video, like and subscribe, man. It really helps us out. Just liking it, sharing it for people. I, I want this to grow uh, organically, you know, with people that like this genre, that like listening to the decision making going on in both houses, right? The one is in shambles and one is thriving. I just want to put this out there, just like uh, the old Christopher Nolan. We believe in Harvey Dent. AK News, no generation. We believe in Henry Cavill. The rest of y'all have just been taking a dump on this guy. Blaming him <laughs> for this whole mess. Or not even blaming him. Uh he he didn't support us strong enough. He wasn't he wasn't Play that play that video, man. And I think this video should end that way. With Henry out there pitching his heart out while Ben Affleck was sitting next to him going. What is going on? That's how this video's got to end. That's how this video... So all the people that took a dump on Henry, we believe in Harvey Dent, we believe in Henry Cavill. Henry, you hold your head up. They're coming at you, baby, but that's all a part of the game. You hold your head up because... Let me tell you something, brother. I felt for you. Because I knew you was in chaos. This is a shambles. Storm. Ben Affleck froze up. He was just sitting there like, whoa. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this story is going to continue. I had a good time. Hope you have a good time with this one. We want to join the, we want to join the fracas, the fracas, and we will see you soon. Good night.